Well, t tell me about um, the impact of fathers on kids, and it's different for boys and girls. Like, what does a, I mean, it's, pa it's fashionable in some circles to say, well, fathers or mothers, they're interchangeable. Sure. But I, t common sense and the, maybe the entire anthropological <laughs> record <laughs> suggests that uh, there's, the roles are different. I've seen, I mean, just to give a mundane example, right. I've seen kids playing in the park, you know, the child's on a climbing structure and the, the mother will say, be careful, Timmy, and the dad will say, can you get to the top? You know, just that sort of thing. I think, you know, most people of us see that kids benefiting from both. And if you have only one parent, the other is not there. Uh, but it, it, typically it's the father. Sure. What, what do we know about the um, effects on, on girls and young women? Well, you know, it's interesting. When, when it comes to sort of thinking about the impact of dads on, on their daughters, what we see basically is that um, daughters are more likely to flourish educationally and uh, even later on in life professionally when they've had an you know, involved dad um, who's engaged with them in, in their lives. And so there's a way in which both fatherhood and marriage, um, done right, of course, are really today, I think, acting in service of the cause of, of women's progress, you know, we have to, so my research, for instance, shows that young men who have come from an intact family are more likely to be flourishing in the labor market in their early, sorry, in their late 20s compared to young men who haven't had that in their background. So again, there's a way in which um, today girls and women benefit from having an active father. And this is across class lines. Across class lines. We also see, too, when it comes to teen pregnancy, that uh, women who have a uh, father present are much less likely to, to become pregnant as teenagers, and women who have a, a close you know, emotional relationship with their dad are much less likely to become pregnant as teenagers. So having both a father present in your life and having an engaged and affectionate dad in your life is a real resource for, uh, for our girls here in the U.S. And I remember, and I've tried to debate this sometimes with gender scholars, and they don't, they never say much about it, but isn't it protective for children, but particularly girls, uh, with the father, the, the biological father in the home, the, the likelihood of, of violence or uh, you know, sexual predation, it, it increases exponentially when the dad's gone and you have a mother's boy, live-in boyfriend. Is that, do you have, you've, you've yeah, talked so about Yeah, so the U.S. That. Department of Health and Human Services publishes a report on a fairly regular basis on, on child abuse and child neglect. And they have a, a figure that sort of maps out or charts out um, the relationship between family structure and child abuse. So the physical abuse of kids, the sexual abuse of kids, and the emotional abuse of children. Um, and they're actually combining boys and girls boys in this particular uh, figure. And there's a very strong association between family structure and, uh, and kids' safety on these three outcomes. And so kids who are being raised in an intact biological married family have much lower rates of abuse than kids in other arrangements and the most risky place in America is where you have a biological parent and an unrelated adult. They don't specify how that's arranged but that's typically the mom and an unrelated male boyfriend. That's a much riskier place for our kids. They're about nine times more likely to be physically, sexually or emotionally abused in those, um, in those relationships or family contexts than kids who are being raised in intact uh, married families. So that's just one indication of the way in which both, in, in this case, both girls and boys are safer from the scourge of, of child abuse um, you know, when they're being raised by their unmarried parents.